Didn't they all just say we were the lucky ones? I guess that we were once. Babe, we were once. But luck will leave you cause it's a faithless friend. And in the end, when life has got you down, You've got someone here that you can wrap your arms around. Don't you ever let me go. Round of applause, please. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Hold hands again. <laughs> On behalf of James and Lindsay, I want to welcome each of you and thank you for being here. A wedding is such a wonderful occasion filled with hopes dreams, and excitement. And we've come here today to celebrate and support the choice of James and Lindsay to join in marriage. Love is a miraculous gift, and a wedding is a celebration of that magic, and that's why we're here today, to share in that magic. May the life you choose to share lavishly fulfill each of you, inspiring you to give abundantly to the rest of the world. May the promises you make here today reflect the love and sincerity for this union. When life is peaceful and when it's painful, may you continuously be reminded of the beauty and deepest intention of the vows you make here. So now I have a few questions. First for you, James, you have no choice but to say, I do. <laughs> James, you've chosen Lindsay to be your wife. Do you solemnly declare that you do not know of any lawful impediment? Why you may not be joined in matrimony to Lindsay? Do you love and respect her? Do you stand by her through whatever may come? I do. And Lindsay, you've chosen James to be your husband. Do you solemnly declare that you do not know of any lawful impediment? Why you may not be joined in matrimony to James? Do you love and respect him? Do you stand by him through whatever may come? I do. Excellent. So we now come to your vows. May I remind you that saying your vows is one thing. But nothing's more challenging than living them day by day. What you promise today must be renewed tomorrow, each day that stretches out before you. So, Lindsay, if you want to hand off your flowers to somebody, and then you can both hold hands. And, James, please repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, James, to witness that I, James, do take you, Lindsay, do take you, Lindsay, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, <laughs> or poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you alone. And to be faithful to you alone. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Lindsay, your turn. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Lindsay. To witness that I, Lindsay. Do take you, James. Do take you, James. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. <laughs> <laughs> in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you alone. And to be faithful to you alone. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Now you both have messages to each other. Who's going to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. I can go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> would you like to go first? <laughs> You're good. Okay. All right then. <laughs> oh, my fawn. <laughs> no, he's got enough. tiny fawn. <laughs> Lindsay, you're the most amazing person that I've ever met. And I knew right after meeting you for the first time that you were someone special. I will say though, you had me very confused on our first date because I thought you wanted to know more about becoming a volunteer firefighter rather than actually being on a date with me. <laughs> but luckily for me, you were interested in going and dating further because I've never met such a driven and determined 
kind and loving person in my life. We've traveled coast to coast together, been to many concerts and so many fun events. We've even lived in our trailer together and survived. <laughs> Most importantly though, you have a tractor. And anyone with one of those is good, as, is good in my books. In all seriousness, I know my mom is smiling down on us both right now and she loves you as much as the rest of my family does. And I'm blessed to become a part of your family and the ever-growing number of dogs. <laughs> so standing here with you and in the company of our most important people in our lives, I vow to be the best husband to you and love you unconditionally for the rest of our lives. I love you. Oh boy. No promises. Okay, I have bigger font though. Yes. So. I also have How many? Oh. <laughs> oh. I can like cut some of this out. Can I get a? I need oh. a drink. Yeah. Go get a drink. Okay. So James, life has been a whirlwind since the day I met you. Our future truly is one decision, one moment away from changing our whole lives. If it wasn't for my short delusional lapse in judgment and time management, I would have never considered volunteer firefighting as another thing to add to my slate. <laughs> and thus, I would have never asked you about it. Um, I'm truly glad that our conversation went beyond firefighting and thermodynamics. <laughs> um, I have to say that in the initial stages of our relationship, there was a brief initiation slash hazing period um, that included meeting my whole farm family at an Easter brunch shortly <laughs> after we met. This was just after a night out with your firefighter drinking buddies. Um, another test was asking you to bail out flooded houses in Constance Bay with not only my best friend and her family, but also the Canadian military. Um, I told them all that we were on like our fifth date. Uh, so, well, you, you passed my test. Um, knowing you so much better now, you must have really, really, really liked me. Um, <laughs> you have had your own form of hazing rituals when you loaned me your brand new F-150 truck. Unfortunately, I was far less successful in passing your tests when I returned it completely mud covered. Uh, since we've met, we've traveled coast to coast and had many adventures, mishaps, and weird Airbnb experiences along the way. I think there's lots to be said as we've spent most of our relationship in a pandemic than not. Um, there's no one I'd rather live with for seven weeks in a camper trailer, um, <laughs> nor anyone else I'd like to eat onion rings and watch TV. <laughs> Specifically Team Mom, but anyway. Um, uh, thanks for always being confident in your decision making and always being sure. When the going gets uh, tough, you re refuse to quit on us and especially on me. Um, thank you for embracing my dreams <clears throat> and pushing me to chase even bigger ones. But more importantly, thank you for pr protecting me against myself as I burn the candle for far too long. Um, <laughs> this is even like the sad part. <laughs> uh, thank you for I still have two pages. Um, thank you for teaching me to slow down and to appreciate the quiet moments. I think we both help each other find that precarious balance in life. Oh, and, and thanks for not moving to Oakville. <laughs> um, <laughs> appreciate it. Um, I didn't fall in love with you because I was lost, broken, or needing to be fixed. I fell in love with you because after getting to know you and who you are, I couldn't imagine life without you. And the places, the scenery has and will change, but whether it's for five minutes or 50 years, I'm just happy that you're by my side. In a way, we were living these parallel lives that just so happened to cross at the right time. Um, this firefighter, being you, um, driving a black F-150 tr truck with a dark and dry sense of humor and love of farm maintenance. <laughs> I truly believe that you were handpicked by my own dad. Um, interestingly, this isn't in my vows, but uh, we sold this truck and for the first time in person I saw it when I was driving to get my makeup done today So that was pretty cool. It was the exact same truck um, With our relationships, there's been a lot of plan B's C's and even D's and I'm think and I am thankful that plan A doesn't always work out but to paraphrase your favorite TV show Jim from the office and I Quote, plan A was marrying you a long time ago, pretty much the day I met you. Um, <laughs> I promise not to wake you up at 5 a.m. <laughs> and make sure I have coffee ready when I do. 
Uh, I promise to love you as unconditionally as you love me, even when I don't love myself very much. I promise <clears throat> to be by your side through thick and thin despite all the ups and downs that life offers. I vow to make you laugh um, almost as much as you make me laugh. I promise to overlook your shortcomings of leaving socks around the house and not changing the roll of toilet paper. Um, this is also despite, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <Water glasses. laughs> Yeah, water glasses, thank you. <laughs> Couldn't put it all in there. But, uh, this is despite having a sign saying that changing the roll doesn't cause brain damage. Um, <laughs> doesn't doesn't help. Um, I promise never to give up on you or on us and to love you wholeheartedly. I promise to love you every day and to respect our time and to stand by you in life's best moments and when life is difficult. You've been there for me and you're helping me transform into the person I'm proud of. I know life will be full of unexpected twists and turns, and I'm grateful to navigate them with you. I couldn't think, possibly think of a better man to experience it all with. I will always be in your corner, your biggest fan, your best friend, and now your loving wife. Always. I love you. Aww. So. Very Thank sweet. You. <laughs> you, can, you, can your you keep that now. <laughs> yeah. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. You've both made promises to each other that you intend to keep. Now, wedding bands are... <laughs> <laughs> he was holding it. <laughs> I'm holding them so she can take a picture of yeah. them. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. See, I've lost my place now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Wedding bands are visible, tangible symbols of a couple's commitment and of their emotional and spiritual commitment. James and Lindsay, let these rings serve as a reminder of the feelings you have in your hearts at this very moment. And as you look at your wedding band, remember the great gift that you've been given and all that you have in one another. Remember that you have someone to share this life with. Never again will you walk alone. So James, if you'll take her ring, please. And as you place it on her hand, her left hand, please repeat after me. Lindsay, I give you this ring. Lindsay, I give you this ring. As a reminder. As a reminder. I will love, honor, and cherish you. I will love, honor, and cherish you. In all times. In all times. In all places. In all places. In all ways. In all ways. Forever. Forever. Okay, you can push it up. <laughs> Just jam it. There we go. I give you his ring. Put it on his left hand. Repeat after me. <laughs> James, I give you this ring. Oh, James, I give you this ring. It's my turn. Yeah. As a reminder. As a reminder. I will love, honor, and cherish you. I will love, honor, and cherish you. In all times. In all times. In all places. In all places. In all ways. In all ways. Forever. Forever. James and Lindsay, we've heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the covenant of marriage you've made here this day before each one of us as witnesses. Therefore, it is in the honesty and sincerity of what you've said and done here today that I make the following declaration. I, Alan Vio, by the virtue of the powers vested in me by the Marriage Act, do hereby pronounce you, James and Lindsay, to be married as husband and wife. Please seal your vows with the kiss. And welcome, America couple, folks.